Hey guys, Kalev here and welcome back. Today we are running a GNOME 3.36 test day over at Fedora Land and I wanted to invite everybody to come and participate. And even if you are not a Fedora user, come and join us anyway and report any bugs you can find back to upstream GNOME community. Everybody benefits from that. And if you don't want to report bugs, that's fine too. Come and join us on IRC anyway and try out the new GNOME goodness. We have GNOME 3.35.91, which is the second beta release of GNOME 3.36, available as a bootable live ISO image. As a bit of background, we try to organize a GNOME test day every release cycle, and it usually helps a lot with stabilizing both downstream Fedora and upstream GNOME. We bring in both upstream and downstream people, so there should be plenty of people around who can help with uh, bug triage and general discussion. The main focus for today's test day are bigger 3.36 changes, which include new login unlock UI, updated user settings, system dialogues have had a UI refresh, new do not disturb feature, it can be activated from the calendar popover or settings and should hide normal priority notifications. App folders in the activities overview have new drag and drop functionality a new UI for renaming each folder. Privacy settings have been much expanded. And finally extensions. We have a new app for managing shell extensions. If you want to see a quick demo of new GNOME Shell 3.36 features, check out my previous video in this channel. So how can you help? First, come and join us on IRC in the Fedora Test Day IRC channel. Then, check out the uh, Test Day wiki page, links are down in the description below, and download the live ISO image link from there. And then you are all set. You can now go ahead and install the downloaded ISO image either in a spare machine or in a VM, or maybe just boot it up in your regular computer and uh, use it as a live image. You can uh, try out the GNOME shell and the apps included in it without having to install anything. But you can install from it, it's a regular Fedora installer image if you want. But please note that both Fedora 32 and GNOME 3.36 are under development and we do not advise anyone to install them on a production machine. Next, once you have the image booted up in either the live mode or have installed from it, it's time for testing. Go and do some exploratory testing. Go and try the new shell features. Go and try your favorite apps and if something is not working right, go and file a bug. Most bugs you find in upstream GNOME components should go upstream in GNOME GitLab. Only those that are either Fedora specific or have something to do with packaging or that are serious enough to uh, warrant release blocking discussion, only those should be filed downstream in bugzilla.redat.com. But the rest should go upstream to GNOME GitLab. However, please do not report bugs here in the YouTube video comments. I just don't have the capacity to forward them upstream. Please do it yourself. Thank you. If you can't make it today, feel free to try out the test day image anyway, but note that the uh, descriptions and links might no longer work and the bug reports might no longer be relevant. It depends on how much time has passed. And once again, this test day is not just for Fedora. It benefits the greater GNOME community. So if you are a Debian user, or an Arch Linux user, or an Endless user, or an Ubuntu user, or whatever, come and join us anyway and help make GNOME 3.36 a success. That's it for me for today. Thanks for watching and see you all on IRC who are at the Fedora Test Day channel. Bye for now.